Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Dolly Parton also says, yeehaw. Welcome to Thursday. Boo says, Boo. Actually, he goes, what does he do? He goes like, <laughs> I don't know that was that. <laughs> Yeesh. So, <laughs> we have a haul for you guys today, and it's not just me this time. I know it was just me last week, but Tell. this time, this time it's Ryan, which means I have worse finds than last time. Last time was Chanel. This time is a pair of Birkenstocks. <laughs> Seems like I do best. I think I said that in one of the solo halls. I was like, I feel like I always have something really exciting when I'm alone. And then when it's Ryan, I'm just like... I think that was one of the most hurtful well... things you've ever said to me. <laughs> oh my god, I have to leave. I can't... Okay, all of a sudden... Oh my gosh, <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Chanel, like, Gucci. Poof. Yeah, and I just pull out like a <laughs> He's things. like, so I found this Birkin. Not that he's gone. Oh yeah. lord. Anyway, so yeah, it's a bins haul today. <laughs> this is all from one bins trip. Yeah. We do have some good stuff. I don't think I have anything luxury. Um, no, it's good like bread and butter stuff. Really good fall stuff though. Yes. If you could tell by the mm -hmm. thumbnail, and I actually am considering naming this like the perfect bins fall haul. We do have some good fall stuff. So that's really exciting. Some vintage. I think I do. Some like mall, like super recent mall brand stuff. Mm -hmm. Some like designer stuff, but not luxury stuff. So I'm pretty mm. excited for this haul. Yes. Next week, as a reminder, on Tuesday is going to be the Jackets Bolo. Oh. And then if you're a Valentine, on Wednesday, there'll be eight bonus Jacket Bolos. And then Thursday should probably be probably a combined, like a two-person haul again. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you have a day off where you can go to the bins. I do have a day off next week, yes. which is so nice. Yeah. And we're going to see Ryan's family this weekend, actually, for Labor Day. <gasps> Yay! we see my like, mom. I feel like I haven't seen Blend them in the forever, so I'm very excited about that. I have, like, a heap. Because we always, obviously, since what we do is we what we do. We shop a lot. <laughs> we collect things over time for, like, everybody yes. in our lives. And so I have a huge We literally have, like, an arm stack. full of stuff for them. Yes. So that'll be nice to be like here yeah plus last time when i was gonna go was when the wonderful aunt janine took a visit to the house and i was gonna go and that was for their birthdays and, and everybody so, got sick it so was I, great i have a stack of birthday stuff for them and i have a stack of like just random stuff for them so we need to get down there so that's exciting Ooh, yeah, that was my sister's birthday yeah Ooh, that was tough. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> so ryan's gonna start off as usual with just like the shoes and other and, miscellaneous. and then i'll do my couple and then i'll start the clothes and we'll get into clothing and this time, I have a feeling basically nothing's listed by the time no. you guys are seeing this. Nothing is. One or two things possibly, but for the most part, probably nothing. So if you're interested, I guess you could either wait or you can just message me us. DM on Instagram. You can message us on Instagram mm -hmm. or it actually really helps if you just like message on Posh, like leave a comment oh, in a bundle or something. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then if we have pictures, we can just whip it up. We can tag you in it and yeah. we can give you like a good deal on it. So either way yes. works. But Ryan, okay. we'll take it away. I will start with this fun little classroom decoration. It's this nice little barn R. Perfect. Look at that. I love it. And it's like really sturdy. I almost went like, doom, that would have been a horrible idea. Yeah. It's really sturdy. And I like it. I'm super excited about it. Look, guys, you just smashed my phone. I mean, just doom, putting a hole in the drywall. That'd be great. Um, and next, I found this pair of shoes. The brand is Baldi. I've never heard of this before. Um, I didn't get them because of the brand. I got them because I think they're super cute. And I think they're kind of like moto-y yeah. to me. Like the black with the studs on them. And I like the little pilgrim mule for fall. I think those are kind of cute. They're also European sizing, which can be a good sign. I mean, obviously like Zara uses European yeah. sizing too. I know. Like and I haven't they... Googled them, so they could be really good. I honestly have no and idea. And I say something else too that I don't know what that means. It's yeah. like in Italian or something. They might be good. We'll find out. Um, so that, that was a fun find. Oh, I found this belt. I feel like I haven't found a good belt in like a couple of weeks. Um, so this buckle is super amazing with these like Southwestern looking doodads. And then it has this like woven darker, I almost call it a stripe, little like thing in it with these little rivets. I was so excited to find this. I love these. And I feel like the vintage like Western belts do really good during fall. Because people wear them with, like, especially jeans and like, stuff as I'm trying to, like, look for a brand. Especially, like, thicker, bigger brown yeah. ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was, like, somebody's throwback. It's just this nice little red fossil bag. I kind of like the ones that have the non-adjustable crossbodies. They do good on eBay for me. I have to, like, leather condition on one little spot. But other than that, like, I got this because of the color. It's very autumnal. It'd probably do good on Macari, you know? too. Yeah. 
a half spoon. All right. Yeah. I just like it because I thought it was cute. So this is like the good bag find of the day. She needs a deep clean. She needs a wash. But I found a Konkin backpack. I think this one is the not the big biggest one, but like the large school bag. Um, I have one and I absolutely love it. My sister has one and she absolutely loves it. So I am hoping that that finds a home for back to school. I got jewelry this time and it wasn't 50 cents. Um, so I found a little thing of jewelry in the stuff and I just picked up some fun things to put on like Depop. Uh, so the first thing I got was this little beaded choker it has one of these little the hook eye claspy things to eye. it but how cute is this these little flowers i don't know whose neck this is gonna fit around because it's I'm sure as heck not mine uh this one oh there's earrings on this too oh this one's missing a few beads hmm. oh this one's like broken okay well so it was gonna look like this but the sides busted oopsies okay um i did find this really really fun pair of earrings that i plan to put on depop they're these stars. I'm not used to showing jewelry, can you tell? Uh, it's these little stars, and they have these little, like, grumpy old man faces on them. There we go. Like, how fun are those? Oh, cute. Yeah. I think it's super cute. It's very, um, if you ever read... Oh, and this one's broken. Okay, well, this is why I don't pick up jewelry. Um, and then I did get a ring, and it just says Lucky. And this is not broken. Luckily, it is not broken. <laughs> so... That was my futile attempt to get things for Depop. For First step for my stuff slash things slash miscellaneous is this very perfectly gothic emo punk belt. I would have probably bought it just with the studs anyways, but mm -hmm. these chains, I was like, what a perfect added detail. So they kind of go around like your side like that next to each other. I don't think there's a size, and I also kind of doubt that this is genuine leather. There's also no brand or anything. It's sturdy, though. But like I said in the solo haul last week, my Depop is very quickly turning into a academia and gothic punk Depop. Mm -hmm. Because that stuff does so it good for me on there. so fast. So that's, that's that. These are a pair of Birkenstocks that I think someone had thrown back. I know that the soles are, are clearly quite, like indented or pressed or whatever you want to call that with someone's foot oh they got footprint but there's no cracking anywhere there's no rotting breaking away of any no. of the cork and the bottoms are not like smooth they're still fine this so, is the important part like back here on the heel yes. if this starts to get up in the cork then they're kind of shot but yeah. like these still have and then right here on. there can be like cracks so yeah. i know that these ones aren't going to go as, for as much as some of the other ones i've had but like but burks are like super light so if they're in mm -hmm. like wearable condition in the bins they'll sell easy 30 quick. 40 dollars then kind of the same with this situation so these are a pair of sorrels that i feel like everybody skipped and these also have seen like a better day, mm -hmm. but there's nothing technically wrong with them. There's no, no cracking, no ripping, no rotting, nothing like that. It's just like a little matted and a little dirty. So mm -hmm. these I actually might wash because there's nothing that is would get ruined like, by that. Is in it here. wool or is it like a synthetic? And a good sign too is like the label is super, super readable still, mm -hmm. which means they really haven't been worn like a billion times. These are somebody's like winter boots that they yeah. had for like 10 years. These are a size women's nine and a half. And these, this pair retails for like 130 bucks. So I wasn't going to skip them. No. So I'll move on to some clothes and then Ryan can have a turn with some clothes. Yes. This fits right into my Academia Depop slash just like fall vintage for Poshmark. <laughs> Oh, this cute. is just a really adorable like oh, fall this. leaf funnel neck mock neck sweater and it's vintage and it's probably like acrylic oh cute it has all these little like multicolored flecks yeah in. it's acrylic with a little bit of wool oh, but yeah adorable. it has all the fall colors mixed so in there cute. it's fully brown which brown is super trendy the mock mm -hmm. neck is has been in for like years now and it's an XL, so it's a good size too. I was actually quite excited about finding that. Another sweater. This is a Madewell sweater size medium. This is, I was almost literally just gonna say this is a size medium again. <laughs> and this it, color is really cool. This one has like slight balloon sleeves. This is those like duster ones that are super popular by Madewell, except I think it's a newer style because it has the balloon sleeve. There's a couple like 
big fuzzies on it that I can seriously just pull off. Yeah, you just have to like so, roll it. That's not a big deal. This is a pair of Zara pants, which usually I would give to Debbie, but I feel like these are just so in season and super cute, so I am gonna try them. They're a US size small, they're an older Trafalic label. These are super cute. But they're paper bag, micro plaid, rolled like trousers. Mm -hmm. So I think those will do good, obviously for fall and stuff. So I'm gonna try those. Yeah. Okay, uh, first up for me, one of my absolute best finds of the day is this pair of mother jeans. These are the Weekender Love Bombs. Um, these are actually super cute. So they're newer. Love Bomb. And they have this kind of like flared raw hem to them. These are super cute, size 27. I like these. I'm super excited. They must be like ankle. I think flavor. they are. They're like cropped. Uh, this is a really cute little moth anthropology sweater. Uh, size small. I like the kind of like red with the contrasting like gray, yellow kind of situation yeah, in this. I think it's really cute. I think it's a good fall like combo. I like that if and you look really close, soft. it's actually metallic in there. Oh, is All it? the red is like tinsel oh, it is. metallic. It's really Oh no, pretty. it's like a Christmas sweater. Cute. Yeah, it's really good for both seasons. Uh, I like that. These are gonna go to my sister, Brandy Melville. Big surprise, a sophomore in college wears Brandy Melville. <laughs> Kept wow. Going. Couldn't believe it. Groundbreaking. She's the first of her kind. Um, this is a pair of Lulu Lumens. Most of the bad condition, not these aren't bad condition, but most of the Lulu I find, I end up giving to Debbie because she pawns them off on she Facebook in on, like two seconds. She will sell them on Marketplace for $15 in moments. Maybe 15 minutes. Literally a millisecond. 15 minutes at the longest. <laughs> Okay. And she'll spend hours depilling them. Like, them. That woman for her fifteen dollars. She works. <laughs> she just has like she no very... fingerprints left. She has like she honestly bones. she has like a constant tremor <laughs> from holding that stupid vibrating um like sweater, sweater shaver. All the time. So this is a pair of I don't know if these are the Astros. These are stretchy. Holy, you could be like nine feet tall. Whoa, look at her go. Um, so I found them with this, with this like pink band, but that's not the one with the plain black one with the thing on the back definitely is. Uh, they're high waisted, they're boot cut. The girlies will wear them, the girlies will love them, and the girlies will buy them. Yes. Which I'm super excited about. And I just need to give them a wash because they have like a teeny little bit of that Lululemon crinkle, but it's not that bad. Um, I did actually find a ton of really cute band t-shirts this trip. So this is an ACDC one. I don't know what. I've seen at least the same graphic at Free People. Uh, blow your video. Yeah. Blow up your video. So I'll like Google these. Oh my gosh, if I could hold it up again. It's super cute. Uh, size small, which I think most of them are like small, medium. Uh, oh, this is nice. So I kind of like Jack said, don't keep a ton of Zara, but this is Zara basic. But I thought this jacket was super oh, cute. Yeah. It's like cropped and it has these really pretty like ruffly kind of bell sleeves and I like this dark gray plaid with the one little like That's something This is very academia to me. This is very like yeah. I'm late for my class. Yeah. I'll go I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go read now. I have a novel to read. I have to follow it through the forest to get to my next class in the library. <laughs> very that. So next up for me is an ASOS piece, but this is Ooh. adorable. So this is that trendy foam puffed <gasps> sleeve, sleeveless top. Oh These were so popular. I feel like it was like last year, but they're still very popular. They're cute. Size US 14, so it's a great size too, and it's ASOS Designs. I really don't get ASOS much. I think it's a place. Honestly, at this point, Zara is better than ASOS. And that's saying something because I cannot sell Zara. But this, I love this mix of like zebra print and kind of like a leopardy spotted print. Mm -hmm. I think it's really adorable. Then this is this super is nice. Find. This is cool, size large. And it's that K-U-H-L instead of K-U-L-E. And this is like a navy blue quarter zip soft fleece kind of Sherpa. Oh, nice. It's a men's, I believe. I believe all the women's, this is a heart. And for the men's, it's like that shield shape. Hmm. Is but that this isn't, uh, yeah, and oh. usually it says, but this does not say. Usually they will say. But this is in such good shape. Mm -hmm. 
we actually do find cool. I feel like a decent amount I feel here. Like you can't not it's... find outdoor brands in like Minnesota, and they are most of them are literally pieces. It's usually in bad shape. It is the thing that somebody wore for 15 years straight when they yeah. went fishing every weekend. This they finally got a new is one. J Crew size large, slightly older label, but that's okay because I think this is so cute. This is adorable. It's an academia llama. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that. <gasps> he's got his scarf on, and he's ready to go to the library. <laughs> literally so cute though. Size large. So great size. This color. There's something about this color from J. Crew. This like slightly darker than camel. It's like a cognac. Tan color. Kind of color. All of the sweaters and cardigans and stuff that are this color have like a following. And they do really well. It's fall. This Ryan threw me. It's Gap. And it's size extra, extra large. So it's a great oh, size. Good. And this is a really interesting colored flannel shirt. I love the colors in this. It's like purple and green. It's kind of a unique colorway. It's kind of preppy. It's like a light, kind of like salmon pink, mm -hmm. like a lavender. You got a little green, like but a little blue. As I've said lately, like lately, that. I've been picking up newer, like, mall brand pieces if they're quite new. Mm -hmm. This is from 2019, so a little bit older than I would usually pick up for Gap, but it's obviously it's super on season, mm -hmm. and the size is like fantastic. Yeah. This is another mall brand, but this one's even newer, I believe. So this is Banana Republic, and it's a petite two, but it's the perfect like fall she olive color. And then it has this tied waist, which makes it look like it's gonna be a jumpsuit, oh, but it cute. actually is a midi dress. Or is it a maxi dress? I don't know. I see the petite too. This might be her maxi, whole height. maybe. But I like again, that it has this. When a dress is like petite, I'm like, okay, so it's like two inches shorter. Mm -hmm. Someone who's like taller could just wear this as like a shin length kind of dress. But this is actually from the end of 2020. Hmm. So I thought that, that was a good pickup. And again, the color just like screamed fall. So I thought I would try that. And then I'll let Ryan go after this one. This is another mall brand, but this is not new at all. This is vintage. This is Talbot's, and it's a size 10 made in the USA, and it is wool. It's 55% wool. I love wool. this skirt so much. It's so cute. And uh. this is this fun, like, belt detailed, oh, what is it? Is this herringbone? Yeah, herringbone mm -hmm. printed maxi skirt that's kind of asymmetrical, This is literally, actually. like, adorable. I, I think, this. yeah, I think this is really cute. And again, this gives me like the fall academia <sighs> style vibe. I also am just like a sucker for like herringbone. A good wool, wool herringbone. herringbone. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, next up for me, I found a Lululemon Swiftly top in the white. Thankfully, like armpits, everything do not look bad. I'm just going to give it a quick wash. Uh, and this is a size... Uh, there's three little... Six? Things. So it's a six. Maybe? But I like I the, believe that. the plain white ones. They do quite well for me. Uh, this was right next to that Lulu. And kind of like the jacket, I don't really sell most Zara myself, but I thought this top was super cute with this, like, lace detail on it. And how it's kind of, like, a little bit different. And I like these little bell sleeves. Small. Wow. Hmm. Well, because uh, I did find a kid's piece. It's just day. Brandy Melville, so, one size fits all. She's like, no thanks. Uh, what is this sweatshirt? Oh, this is a Zara sweatshirt. Does this make any sense to anybody? Undisclosed Expo, work exhibition, NYC students graduation. What <laughs> in the world? So I, this is a Zara sweatshirt. I just thought it was funny and I literally had it in my cart like flat, just <laughs> like giggling to myself like a moron because I was trying to figure out what it meant, but I think it's so funny. Uh, say small as well. Say small. Say small. Same size as that other white thing. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, Jack handed this to me, and I am so excited about this. It's this really cute little western, pr not print, plaid tank top. Um, it does have, like, a little belt in the back, so you can kind of, like, give yourself a little cinch if you need to. I like the two little pockets on the front. I think they're super cute. Uh, it's by Wrapper, not Wrangler. Uh, vintage size large. I would say this is like a modern, like small. I've definitely seen like wrapper logos before. It's so cute. Uh, so this is a torrid piece. I was super excited to find it. It's a size two. That's so cute. I know, this is really pretty. It's this like really nice kind of longer uh, half sleeve little star print blouse. And it's like the high low hem on it. Oh gosh, I adorable. absolutely love this. It's got the little like pleat thing in the back. I thought this was so cute. And there was a spot on this when I found it. So I have to refine it and wash it. 
but utter nasty. This hall is almost in like black and white. It kind of Everything is. Everything we got is like white, black, or oh. like gray. Okay, so I'm gonna do these together because, well, there's one more in here, so maybe we'll wait. Um, Funko Bras, but pause on that. Uh, so this next thing, and I think that's my five, is this really nice Free People Beach maxi dress. So small. Uh, the straps are definitely not even, but it's kind of like the shoulder tie little halter situation. And I love this color. This like sherbet kind of like heathered orange with these mm -hmm. little ruffly details on it. I think this is going to be super cute. And it's like a fall color for people that don't live in like fall weather climates. I was, gonna say, I was just going to say, you know what I mean? definitely not a fall piece. And then I was like thinking about it in my head. I was like, if you put like a Absolutely moto jacket is. over that. If you or just something. put like a little jean jacket and a cute pair of brown boots with this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at her. For those like Punkin. Jordan, those like Southerners. Punkin that don't get these crisp 50 the, degree days. The stuff like at the do. bottom of my Starbucks drink is that color, so. Yes. <laughs> Next up for me is an Anthro piece, and this is an Anthro brand that is a little more obscure, but I do actually really like to sell this one. It's called Mo Vint, and it's M-O colon, right? Colon Vint. <laughs> it's cute. Size small, and this is just a completely knit, like, tank top. It's very nice knit. Like, it's this is really quite well heavy for what it is. But I think that's cute. And Movent is like a bit more expensive for Anthro. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Then I knew what this was just by seeing this. Oh, Lord. Watermelons. Watermelons. This is definitely not tall. This is yeah. rail, so it's size medium. And it's the tank top version of this watermelon oh, printed top. What's that t-shirt called? Oh. I just listed a star. I just listed a zebra print one. <laughs> they actually do really good. No, they, so people must like them because they sell really well. They're all like this linen cotton blend. They're all like the same percents. They come in tank yeah. top, crew neck, and v neck. And people all, like the all kinds prints. of prints, all kinds, yeah. of patterns, all kinds of patterns, all kinds of colors. People love them. Yes. So this will be my first time trying Hatch um, the Nines. So this is like the Target line of Hatch. Do I don't they know if they still, still carry it. I don't I know. Don't. They might online, but I don't think mm. I see it in store. I don't see any of the Hatch baby stuff anymore. But I know people have said, obviously, it doesn't have the value of like Hatch Hatch. But I'm still going to try it because Hatch is just so popular, period. And it is a really cute top. It's a size small. And again, kind of like that dress. It is still kind of a fall color with yeah. it being like orange. It's really cute. This is Athleta and I was very excited to find oh, this. It's a size cute. large and it's this really pretty mint. Oh, it's like a thermal. Like thermal ribbed top. I think it's so cute. And I have a very similar one coming up that I don't know if it's the same size, but it'll be probably in the next group of that stuff. That is a really cute one. This, so at first I was kind of like bummed about this, but then I remember that this color is actually like one of the colors oh, of this yeah. fall. This, like, really bright this is that really bright saturated pink we were talking about. Mm -hmm. So this is Moth by Anthro, and it's a size small. What? And this is like a chunky cardigan that I could totally see like free people oh my God, making. this is adorable. Yeah. Why would you be disappointed? Well, I was disappointed because it was pink. Just because I was like fall pink. I but then I remembered the trend report sweater. and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I'm actually very, very excited. I am this. like obsessed with this sweater. Yeah. I love this color. This whole the pink makes me so happy. Like the seam gives me yeah. free people vibes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Um, so I do have some very expensive bras, but I will show you them all at the same time. I do not know where the third one went. Um, I did find a fair amount of these like fun little vintage skirty situations uh so this is the first one i just honestly love this print more than anything this like really vibrant like 70s looking like flower print i just thought this was like super cute that's adorable and i can 100 percent see zara making something like this um a goodwill wanted 2.99 for it and like i probably would have paid print reminds me i probably would have paid three bucks of some <laughs> brand not lily pulitzer but like something else and i cannot put my finger on it oh i had another thing in here i'm sorry i had a kate spade wallet Oh, that's nice. And it's one of those ones where you can, like, put a chain strap through it. That's nice. So this is super nice. That is. Um, oh my gosh. What? I completely forgot that I grabbed this. This is so nice. <laughs> oh, hey! Money? It has, um, oh. the strap in it. So you can, like, put that through here and then put a little chain on it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. That's nice. Okay, wow. Okay. That makes me happy. Discovering things, experiencing things. I just things. Really experience, like, real life stuff. And, yeah. Like, experiencing things. Um, somebody handed me that, so thank you. It is a pug harness. <laughs> because they have these weird little triangle-shaped heads where you cannot put a traditional dog harness on any of them. So this is going to Mike. 
And Mike will be very happy. Um, I also found myself a very cute pair of happy socks. I love these. And these are expensive. And like yeah, Dillard's. They're like $17, but they are the most comfortable pairs of socks. Hmm. Uh, that's a dress for Sweda. Okay. Two more things, and then I'll give it back to Jack, because I feel like I've just kind of like rented Well, rambled. I just feel like I have more stuff. Oh. So I've been... Okay. <laughs> um, this is... Jefferson Airplane. I must have, I was like, I thought it was Jefferson Starship. Uh, this one's really cool though. This banty. Jefferson. Am I reading that right? Does that say Jefferson Airplane? Isn't it Jefferson Starship? No, Isn't that the name airplane. of the band? I don't know who that San Francisco, is. California, 1965. Um, okay, so TBD on this one. This could be like a $5 band t-shirt or a $300 band t-shirt. I hope it's just a fake group. That would be hysterical. <laughs> it's like a Shein yeah. knockoff. Um, it's a size. It's small. If anybody wants it. It's cute. Okay. Oh, I was excited. As one of our this. viewers is like the biggest Jefferson Airplane fan it? ever. She's like, my husband is Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> he sings in his airplane. My daddy is Mr. Jefferson, and my uncle is Mr. Airplane. Um, this is super cute, and I love this. Oh, like, cute! It's like sweatshirt. Yeah. What is it? Not Terry. Uh, sweatshirt. Whatever it is. Uh, um, so it's Urban Outfitters. Oh. And I love that it has this like fun little like varsity drawstring, but the back it has this like little open thing for like a back tattoo. The comfort level. No, literally, you would this have would be in this? like the inside of this is. Soft. It's a body it's so nice. It's a body sweatshirt. So yes. it's out from under Urban Outfitters. If you're going to be able to see this like teeny little tag. Out from under. Out from under loves. Uh, and it's a size medium. And I am like, I kind of want to order one for myself. <sighs> that has like a back on it. Maybe not this short, but like how comfortable would that be? Yeah. The school would love that. No, I wouldn't go to school. That's my, <laughs> home. That's my home outfit. <laughs> Next up for me is another fall item. This is a oh, duster is so cardigan nice. that's fully like ribbed and stuff. And it's actually by Sundays in Brooklyn, which is an anthropology brand. It says medium. It's a brand that I don't really like to pick up much anymore, no. but this is like great. I think people just love these like long dusters though. And it's a little lighter. Like in the fall. So for people who don't get as cool as it gets here. And it also gives me like teacher cardigan. Oh. Oh, that's 100% like some English teacher nonsense. This will probably go to a consignment store. I've never seen such a like boring free people. It says medium. It's a t shirt. <gasps> Tie dye it. T shirt. Yay! We love blank, we love blank t shirts. I think it's just oversized, is the deal. But it's purple. This is made well. Size small. Need to depill it, but it's adorable. This is really cute with that yeah. little varsity And it's not shrunk, so that's always a positive too. This is a really good find. This is a pair of rag and bone pants, size eight. And these are so fall. These are so Also, cute. oh my gosh, when I found these, I was so excited. I was picking them up and I was like, either these are a new day or sanctuary. <laughs> they would be Target. And they were rag and bone. And they were also in a bin of like nothing else good, which was hmm. weird. But I am so pumped about these. Rag and Bone, like, mm, doesn't do that great for me. Sometimes some of the clothes do like a little decent. I think that. I feel like if it's seasonally appropriate, it'll do a little bit better. Yeah. This is made by Anthropology. I sold this before. size large, and it's like the sailor striped, but it's thermal oh, and it's like cold. a tunic. Yeah, it did really well for me when I sold I it. I think this will do good, mm -hmm. yeah. It has like wider sleeves, not like bell sleeves or anything. They're just like it's really cute. wider. This is an example of Athleta that I don't mind when it's an older label oh, at all. <laughs> it's extra small and it's this like plastic label, whatever you want to call that. And it's this like long wool oh, zip up nice. jacket with this print throughout that I kind of don't know what it is. I think it's just like, it almost looks, look at it looks like eyes. It looks, okay, like, now a, it it looks me, like an owl. It's an owl! Oh, now that makes me really nervous. I don't, I don't. Oh, <laughs> now I just see him staring at me. It's oh, just, get that away. It's just, <sighs> I hope this is called like the forest of owls. Like I don't like coat. that. I don't like that at all. It's from 2013, but I do not mind. This will sell. I have no fear of that happening. <sighs> <laughs> I hate that. I do not like that. Please buy that so it's out of my house. This Ugh. is a new athletic brand to me that I guess get out the bolo notebooks. This is a brand called Corral, K-O-R-A-L, which I thought I had heard of before, but I guess I hadn't because when I looked it up, I didn't. Well, I don't recognize this K logo, no. and I did not know of a Corral or Coral that was worth as much money as these. These are like 150 bucks new, oh my God. and they're sold on Revolve and like all those expensive they're very websites. Mono. But they have this like 
satin sheen, sh like shimmery kind of paneling to them. Mm -hmm. It's not faux leather, but no, it's, 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 like, it's not, like a dance fabric. Yeah, it's that. not like mesh. It's or like spandexy. It's, and these are a size large. I could tell they'd be good because they're made in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Corral by Ilana Kugel. Who? If anyone knows her personally. <laughs> Everybody's familiar with Miss Googly's work. Yeah. Miss Googly. Miss Googly. Oogly boogly googly. Googly googly. Googly boogly. Okay, uh, next up for me, another t-shirt. It's this Adidas. Um, I think I might bleach dye this. Because I just think it'd be like a fun little project to do. And I don't think like the plain t-shirts really do that good for me anymore. So maybe like spice it up a little bit. That'll be fun. Oh, this is also for my classroom. I found myself a nice little William Sonoma <laughs> apron. I thought this was about to be a Starbucks barista apron. I thought that that's exactly that's what it was so when I found funny. it. I said, William Sonoma. Uh, my grandma has this exact same apron in blue and she's had it since mm, probably 20 years before I was born. So it's nice to have one in green. I think of her and I will 100% be able to get clay all over this and I can just wash it. Yeah. Which is so nice. And their aprons are actually like not super inexpensive. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, the other bra. Okay. The bra. And then there's, here come okay, the there's this one and then there's one more in here, but we can do that. So I found three very nice bras and then some kind of like lingery, hosiery type situation. Cause I don't know anything about this one. So this is Fleur de Mal, which I think means angry flower in French. Isn't that like flower of death? Ooh. I like that oh, name. Okay, okay. <laughs> on, we got a little lure them off. It's very strappy. Um, and these were all just kind of like puddled up next to each other. So here's the first one. Intimate. Very lure nice. Them and then the second one is Blue Bella. And it's just this really pretty like white. Oh my gosh, these straps are giving me a hard time today. Really pretty like white strappy mesh situation. And then the other one, this is a huge bolo. If you ever see it anywhere, it is like the primo of lingerie brands. It's Agent Provocateur. This stuff is so ridiculously expensive. It's insane, um, but it's very sought after still. And it's just this really pretty little like mesh bra. With this nice little like boop, 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 boop thing in the top um it's this is like a 300 dollar. oh my gosh like pfft, over the shoulder boulder holder um so if you see one pick them up and i paid a dollar for that so then i found two more of those kind of like midi pleated skirts this one is red i like this color as well for fall i think it's super cute and then the other one i like this pastel yellow this color does really good on depop because it photographs really well on the white wall and i just think it's super pretty uh, both of those are like small, medium. Okay. Then I did find an adorable little pair of Oshkosh Bagash overalls, the green stripe for like a pumpkin patch. How cute would that be? Or like a little Halloween costume. These are a, I want to say three or 14, almost. So moving on to my intimates. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pair of vintage Playboy underwear. I like that it says Playboy underwear. Yeah, it's polyester and made in China. So not as old as some of the stuff I found probably, but still. Vintage Playboy does mm -hmm. so well. You could also just wear these as kind of like sleep shorts too. They're that nice yeah. like satin, but Vintage Playboy y'all does so, so good. It feels so good. It does. Then here is that other Athleta and it is a large as well. This one is a waffle thermal instead of being like a ribbed. It does have a few light spots on the back, but I thought that this was just too cute to skip. So I still got it and it's heavier mm -hmm. and like thicker. It'd be super good as like a base layer. That's for the people that something. have fall weather. Yes. <laughs> it is really cute though. I love that color. This is a brand I never pick up, but this is so so adorable oh, and this? I have an inkling that this is from like the past couple years or like last year. Mm -hmm. So it's Lane Bryant, pretty sure that's the new label, mm -hmm. size 18 Cute. and it's this gorgeous. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Multicolored, layered, tiered, like maxi dress. Oh, this of is all so these different pretty. colors. They look like um, uh, hole punches. 
Yeah. From like it reminds me of Kate Spade. Oh, yeah. I think it's missing a belt, and I don't know if Lane Bryant does like years in hers. I don't know like what company owns Lane Bryant. I don't know if that's like the old Navy company or whatever. It's, oh yeah, the end of 2019. There so you it, have it. It's newer. It's adorable. And I think this will do really good. This is oh, a good yeah. like going to an event or a wedding or something dress. It's so cute. Then, I was just gonna pick these up based on what they look like, and then they were actually a brand that I recognized, which I thought was hilarious. These are really cute. Talk about academia. Very. And like a piece you don't find very often. These are like Bermuda shorts that are like <laughs> yeah, wool, like... herringbone, academia. I think that's hilarious. Like that they have the little like, you can button them up on the side. But I'm fairly so certain cute. these are like actually wool and they're also lined in this like vintage, like striped hmm. lining. And they're sanctuary. I was like, are you kidding? You're kidding me. I would never have guessed these are Sanctuary, and on Depop, I probably, like, maybe I'll pick Sanctuary as a brand, but I won't, like, that's not my advertising point at all. Oh my god. These would be so good for, these like, adorable. an academia person, individual. Oh, There's no absolutely. tags inside. I don't know the size of those yet. They are really cute, though. So this is a new Bolo brand. And I had a feeling when I found it. So I found the set, thank goodness. It's called Desmond and Dempsey, size medium. Hmm. These are the shorts. Look cotton. Yep, like a nice cotton. And then this is the top. And these are really, really expensive pajama sets that they make. And there mm -hmm. are like leopards on them. They do have faces. It's just oh, they're kind cute. of like hidden throughout. I like this color that they use for the dye, like the blues. I'm pretty sure their pajama sets are like 180. Where were they? Oh, they were on the Goop website. Oh, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow's, like, which website? <laughs> from Goop. I love They're Goop. obviously probably from other places, too, but if the, you ever the main need, place. like, a, a pick-me-up, have a glass of wine and go on the Goop website and just, like, have a little laugh. It's aye, aye, so aye. funny. <laughs> so, the last three clothing pieces are American Eagle. At this point with me, can we get through a haul without American Eagle? It feels like no. So, this is American Eagle. It's the boyfriend fit flannel in this nice blue and black coloring. It's a size small, but I picked it up because as I showed you guys, there's years and dates on American Eagle. This is from the end of 2019. I thought that was like current enough. And American Eagle has like a huge, I feel like of all mm -hmm. the young demographic mall brands, American Eagle has the biggest they all following. Got American Eagle. Yeah, because American oh Eagle has never been like controversial like some of them have No, been. they didn't have any of those like no racially insensitive t-shirts. Yeah. Come, come on. Abercrombie. <laughs> I'm gonna say anthropology. American Eagle, <laughs> size large, so good size too. I love this. Super oh. cute sweater. I love these colors and it's super stretchy and plush. It's so soft. This one, I don't even know if I looked at the date on. This one's from also the, tw the end of 2019, so I thought that would do good. And and then this one is just super, super trendy. A cropped like Argyle size extra small with the buttons at the front. And this one is from, I think it's even newer. This one's from the end of 2021. So this one was like last fall. Why did she get rid of Which, this? Which again, like all, the, so nice, all the girlies are gathering they and going do. back to college. They do be donating. They need their sweaters. They need girly sweaters. That's My, what they absolutely need. Last two things. This is a West Elm curtain. Made oh, of yeah. a linen curtain. Cute. Very wide. Do you know how big it is? It is from 2017. Oh, it's 48 inches by 84. Oh. I think it's like a single, like, big wide. Oh, oh my gosh. We but since it's linen, house. like, it'll let sunlight through, too. Then I found two of these. These are Opal House, and they're, like, the kind of anthro knockoff, like, quilted, oh. this, like, slub no, cotton. No, it's like a slub cotton. Uh, palm. My pillowcases are made out of this exact same material, not this, like, printout, and they are my absolute favorite things on planet Earth. I love them so much, they're so soft. 2020 standard size in their Opal House. And like people, including myself, love Opal House. So I think As I'm in a Target t-shirt today, yeah. that's very Opal House. Okay, take it away, um, Penny. Uh, I found this for my best friend, Lauren. It's an inside joke between us that she is Kermit the Frog. Um, so here's a Kermit the Frog tea. Then I found, this is for Debbie. It's just a little Lululemon tank top. She can put it on Facebook or she can, you know, do whatever with it. <laughs> Try it on. Yeah, I she was going to say. She can eat it. I don't know, I don't know whatever Debbie, I don't know what Debbie does with them, but that's not my problem. This is Anthropology Cartonier. I am going to have to, like, stain treat the neck just a little bit because there's a Cartonier. little bit of year. Cartonier. Cartonier. This 
that brand. Do you really think that'd be pronounced I don't think I found one of these pieces in so long. I think Yee I literally forgot how to say it. <laughs> It's a size six, and it's this really cute little kind of like, I don't know like what shape this is. Kind of polka dot, kind of not. Little like blazer, but I just think this is adorable. I like it. Um, then I found, what's this? Oh, Jack found this for me. This is for Depop. Oh yeah. Uh, impressions, 80s. Millennium Edition. 80s. Um, this fabric is just so fun. Oh yeah. I can picture a deep it's just like buying so that, much fun wearing it with only like the top button shot or like just one of the middle oh buttons. I'm gonna like put it on the mannequin I'm gonna tie it yeah. and make it look real cute well, here's the other garter oh these were different I lied so it's a set of um, those like got garter thigh high things that you like clip on like pantyhose um, the brand on these is Opac which isn't a very, <laughs> wouldn't it should be that name, the lingerie. That's a pretty fun. Oh, pack. I bet it's expensive. They're very expensive. Um, I want to say they're made in Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Made in EU, made in Germany. Um, okay, but like, do you see how I thought these would go together? Yes. Like, <laughs> um, next up for me, these were given to me by a lovely Benz friend of mine. A pair of Zaya workout shorts. These are a size. I am the Zaya person. Small. I know, I like, I don't think I've ever found a pair of Zayas in the wild but i like that they have this kind of like cute little rolled tab thing on the bottom i, I think love, those are i love selling you this was my first find and i was so excited about it because it is absolutely stunning um it's this really pretty bath robe is it silk i don't know but it's flora by flora night cruise and i am obsessed with these i love this i love that it has a geranium on it i have a geranium tattoo and i think it's super pretty and i kind of want to keep it but i have no need for it <laughs> flowy silk robe. Um, I don't remember if I found this or if somebody handed this to me. Oh, it's just like, oh, there's beads on the front. Oh my God, I had a heart attack. I thought that was a bug in here. It was a bead. Um, it's this really... <laughs> there's bugs all over it. I was just like, what am I feeling? What am I squeezing? Um, it's this really cute, like one of these like stretchy tops. I love this kind of like abstract little like design on it. So I thought these beads through it were bugs and i'm realizing now there is a very large stain in the front i will wash this so it's okay um it's by chris small medium then okay i'm almost done i promise what is this this is a white house black market dress to send a thread on this is a really cute kids item which i haven't found a kids thing since i showed you the oshkosh uh 20 minutes ago this is kid zara size 11 12 but how cute is this maxi dress like this is a Adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just like, I can't leave it behind. I saw somebody throw this back and I immediately said, thank you. It's one of these like dirt hippie jackets with these like little patchwork oh, things on the front. Out. Oh, I love these. I have one of these on Depop right now and it has like 70 likes on it. Um, I did, oh, hey, they match. So if here's the OPAC, like one more time. here's the OPAC bra. And it's like a bra with this little meshy stuff on it. Here is an anthropology shop. This is Maeve by Anthropology, so it's a little newer, size medium. Um, I think this is super cute. This kind of like ribbed, I don't know what these do. Like, I don't know where you're supposed to. Like you tie it in the front, just for a detail. No, no, um, either way, it's super cute. Okay, we're almost done, I absolutely promise. This is a pair of Athleta Girl leggings, size extra, extra large, 16. Um, most of the time I don't pick up the Athleta Girl stuff, but I thought these were really cute because they were bigger and they have these like mesh panels on the bottom. I thought those were cute. This is a pair of Aligns. I just have to depill the inner thigh. These are a size six for Lululemon. These were just plopped in a bin. Nobody saw them. And then my last and final thing, no, one more thing, is something Jack gave me and it's this really cute Y2K tank top. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I can't tell if it's like- Very Calypso. Is it bar. fish? No, no it's, it's just like paisley feathers. but i am absolutely obsessed with this i love the little like mesh detail on the front perfect and then my last thing is a spank <laughs> for small a single spank a spank okay thank you so this haul was a lot longer than i expected it to be so if you made it for this long thank you so much for walk watching dun, this dun, long dun, dun. We will see you guys on, I was almost going to say Thursday. This is Thursday. We'll see you. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Will there for be what a video sold, on the For what sold Saturday. Oh, or if you're interested, I will see you guys on Friday on the second channel for my Halloween, my haul of my Halloween decorations that I bought in 
August. And then actually on Saturday, there's a part two to that. So you could see us twice on Saturday and once tomorrow if you really want to spend oh, that much time with I us. Think you should. I get it. I get it if you don't. I don't. <laughs> we will see you guys <laughs> at one of those points. Or if you wait all the way till Tuesday, we'll see you then as well. We'll see you in a week. Goodbye. Goodbye.